We're going to be talking about SmackDown for May 29th, 2003. What? Yes. 2003. Two right, two odd, odd was this yes. SmackDown 6 era? Kinda. It definitely still uh, felt you, like it. You got the FBI, you got Taker, you got... That's a SmackDown 6, right? It feels like Chavo... <laughs> Chavo <Chata Hera. laughs> Ch- was already written out at this point, it feels like. So. What are you talking about? He was, I thought he was in the tag team match with Eddie. He had to- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, had to everything. Yes, he was. That's true. Uh, yeah. Yes, this was uh, May 29, 2003. Uh, the rating for this show was a 3.4. That's still pretty good. Is- it is pretty good. It was obviously, you know, not as good as it was, but it, it is still uh, pretty good. Uh, would you like to know what happened on Velocity, just for fun? Ooh, yeah, okay. sure. Go ahead. Hit me. Um, the two dark matches, Ultimo Dragon defeated Crash uh, in a dark match, and Sean Evans and Canyon defeated David Flair and Jim Stack. Jim Stack? That's me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Did, Bill DeMott was, defeated... What was what that? Was the, uh, what was the mania that Ultimate Dragon work was it twenty nineteen? Wait, th- so he worked the one that where they are. Wait, I'm so confused. Are you sure it wasn't twenty? I think I, it was twenty. Was it twenty? I thought it was nineteen. Where he slipped. Nineteen was the one that was a few months ago from this SmackDown. So they he I don't think he had debuted yet because right. No, they you're right. Okay, yeah, later, it was twenty. So, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah you're right. Uh, that was we. Oh my god, that was something. Yeah, that was... Well, Talk a little bit more about Ultimo Dragon. We'll get to it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Also, <laughs> Bill DeMott defeats Shannon Moore. Orlando Jordan defeats Jamie Noble. John Cena cut a rap-style heel promo on Pensacola, Florida. <laughs> nice. A- A-Train defeated Joey Matthews, and Matt Hardy defeated Funaki. That's hmm. uh, an interesting velocity. Yeah. Can uh, I how- tell you about uh, Monday Night Raw of the oh, opposite? I what. I do want to hear about that competition. <laughs> the competition, as it be. Uh, that one was, uh, where was that from? Mobile, Alabama. Oh, Mobile? Mobile, Alabama. Mobile. So the Raw brand. We had Booker T defeated Test with Stacey nice. Keebler in uh, 5 Nights. There we Shouts go. out, bro. That's on Here God, we go. Bro. Let me tell you. Yeah. Val Venus defeated Steven Richards with Victoria in 2 minutes, 26 seconds. Okay, I'm down with that. Goldust defeated Christian in four minutes, three seconds. Man, what Bullshit. the fuck? A white boy challenge by oh, Rodney shit. Mack with Five Teddy white Long. Boy challenge? He defeated a Bubba Ray Dudley. Yeah, crack ass, crack ass, super crack ass. And we had a flag match. Sylvain Grenier with Rene Dupree. Maybe his dog Fifi, I'm not sure. No, uh, not Fifi. Which yet. one? He defeated yeah. <laughs> Rob Van Dam with Kane in a flag match in 516. Damn. Kane's from ma- Parts Unknown. We don't even know if that's in America. What the fuck? So Rob Sean O'Hare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Sean O'Hare also is from Parts Unknown. And then the main event was Triple H defeated Ric Flair and Shawn Michaels in a handicap match in three minutes and 14 seconds. What the fuck? Cool, and man. That, that, no. The rating yeah. was 1.2. <laughs> <laughs> and then Heat, Heat, Heat had uh, Hurricane and David Flair beat Jindrak and Cade. Bro, David Flair's getting Dragon, booked on all these shows. Ultimo Dragon defeated Rico. Scott Steiner defeated Lance Storm. Tommy Dreamer and Maven beat Three Minute Warning. Uh, Jazz beat Jacqueline, fuck? and Christopher Nowinski defeated Spike Dudley. Yeah, Damn, shout dude, out Nowinski. No, what's going on with you? this? All these shows sound like shit. Who's watching Velocity and Heat? <laughs> <laughs> Me before the pay-per-view's open, I get a little bit of a look into what's going on. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, I, so I used to go on the bus in the morning for school. I look at all the results, and then people talk to me about the pay-per-view. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I saw. I remember that uh, RVD. <laughs> Beat pain in eight minutes and fifty four seconds. <laughs> John Cena cut a heel style promo. <laughs> so morning. also uh, the main event of this uh, this raw thing, there was a masked man, and then he came down, and Kevin Ash came down at one point, but he got beat up, and then the masked man was Randy Orton the entire time. Ah, oh, that's a SmackDown versus Raw storyline. Bastard! Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> it could have been Canada. <laughs> Who nah, is this masked sleeping. man? Oh my god, RKO with the pose? Who is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> and that's the competition for you. There you go. All right. Well, time to talk about some SmackDown, huh? Yes. Okay, so the show opens up. It shows a recap of Vince and Mr. America's feud. Not Hulk Hogan, Mr. America. <laughs> Mr. America, yes. Vince yes. is not happy at all. He's no. pissed, dude. He's yeah, pissed. shit has been going awful, man. He wants to fix SmackDown. That's a, like a very recurring thing for Vince. Every time he's the on the show, show, he's trying to fix it. Yeah. Every, yeah. <laughs> the ratings are bad. I'm going to fix it. <laughs> Every time for 20 years. The ratings are down. I'm here to fix it. All right. Well, <laughs> Thank you, Vince. Fix it from who, Vince? Yeah, <laughs> who broke crazy it? how this works. 
Um, <laughs> they show a couple of things. Sean O'Hare or Roddy Piper face off against Mr. America. If Mr. America lost, he would have to take a lie detector test. Well, guess what happens this week? <laughs> a lie, lie detector, detector test. test. <laughs> <laughs> They, uh, they also showed a, a spot in this video where uh, Vince comes down with a bunch of cops during the match. <laughs> yes. And he, he gets, he, he wants them to arrest Zach Gowan. And Zach Gowan obviously is a one legged man and he has a cane. And Vince snatches the cane from him and says, He's got a weapon. He's got a weapon. Uh, <laughs> and he is trespassing. The cops fucking take him away. They arrested him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking 18 year old kid with a cane in one leg. <laughs> uh, that must have been Detroit's finest back again. Oh, shit. Yes, sir. Um, so, Mr. America and Sean O'Hare have their match. Roddy Piper is, uh, he can still take bumps and stuff at this time, which is pretty cool. It's, he's actually in pretty good shape here. Yeah, he looks pretty um, all right here. Yeah, but Mr. America loses by count out because turns out he can't count. <laughs> he can't do math. <laughs> no, he had, to, he had to choose between Zach Gowan or going in the ring. And he, Why? Why did he have to do he that? He lost both, actually. So. And he lost both of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stupid ass. America sucks. <laughs> yeah. So Sean O'Hare ends up winning. This is after his gimmick, right? Where he where he does the vignettes where he's like, I'm not telling it's... you anything you don't already know. Yeah. I don't think it's too far after it though. Because he's I got the jacket. I feel like Yeah. That jacket is gigantic. Yes, it is huge. And he was doing a lot of weird shit. They were like, Sean O'Hare <laughs> is a karate master. I'm like, yes. <laughs> from Parts Unknown. Sean O'Hare from Parts Unknown is- with Roddy Piper doing karate kicks. Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. And anything he said in those vignettes, they dropped completely. It was just him with Roddy Piper. They had no character to this. It was just him. Those vignettes out. were very strange. They were like... I, I they, get were, they, they were, were just kind interesting, of, they, but yeah, they didn't, they were, didn't yeah. follow up with it, right? They were trying to give him yeah. some kind of gimmick. Like w- one of the promos was like him trying to convince people to cheat on their spouse. Yeah, yes. and also, I think one of them led to like Don Marie like flashing the crowd or something like that too. <laughs> Subliminal messaging: Show your titties. <laughs> 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 you know you want to do it. <laughs> I'm not telling you the Yari, no. Yeah, Don Marie, shout out. Yeah, yo, that is for true for true. <laughs> if, there's, if there's anything James and I can agree, agree upon, despite our issues with Trish and Stacey going against each other, <laughs> Don Marie. Don top Marie, of the line. that's it. Just full period stop. Don true. Marie, that's it. God bless. God bless it's been America. A long time. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Come yeah. on. Come on. Oh, shit. This still goes that hard. I don't care, bro. Yeah. That it's so fucking good. This might be I the best version this of it. SmackDown intro rules. That's it's what I the best. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Tonight's main event is Lesnar and Taker versus the FBI in a two uh, on three uh, handicap. You got my girl, you motherfucker. Hey, let me get you with that. Dude, the graphic for this is outrageous. So you have Brock Lesnar <laughs> and the Undertaker. Brock Lesnar's got the undisputed title. Looks like he's about to break out of his skin. He's gigantic. On the other side, you got fucking Guido doing the, the neck thing with a big ass yeah. jacket on. This was Johnny crazy. the Bull stamp. Johnny the Bull just looked like he ate five lemons. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. Though. I don't remember this version of FBI at all. Like it does not jog my memory. Oh, I remember it for sure. I can't wait till we get to that actual match in the main event because I have actually so much I would like to talk about in that one. I feel like we talked about this last time we talked about this era of SmackDown, but the font they use is fucking horrible. So the first, uh, <laughs> the first match of the evening, Tori Wilson versus Nydia. It's actually the very first thing that opens up the whole show. But the first person that we actually see is Sable. Hell yeah. Sable. She's not even doing the grind anymore. Bro, she, the, I, she came out and I was like, oh, is she? I, I wrote in my notes, is she going to do the grind? <laughs> she gonna I, had, I, I, wrote, I hope Sable does the grind. <laughs> I really wrote that in my notes. Michael Cole uh, really, really likes Sable here. I don't know if he was told to just be uh, very primal it's about this. Sable got, it's because Sable got Taz wet. Oh, my God. And they said that a hundred times. They, yeah, they, got, this whole 10-minute thing was just that. Yeah, it was. Uh, then Sable gets into the ring and starts kind of promo. She says, what would SmackDown be without me? Hi, Taz. Did you miss me? And Taz says, kind of like a bad rash, brother. <laughs> <laughs> If I call corpses, they don't even show on the screen. Yeah. Thank you, Taz. <laughs> this Sable whole decides. thing is just Taz and Michael Cole just fucking ribbing each other. This is this, this yeah. entire segment. I loved it. 
Sable uh, also so she decides she is going to be the ring announcer for this next match. So first up, Sable announces hailing from Loserville, USA, and weighing in at way too much. <laughs> <laughs> Tori Wells. She makes the face and everything. She goes, <laughs> <laughs> just real shitty. Yeah, that was uh, some real Steiner s stuff. I really like this part a lot. I actually. loved it. Yeah. Um, so on commentary, also they get to the point, and Taz, I don't even know what they were talking about. I just remember this specifically. Taz said he had a stick in his hand, and Michael Cole said, "You had a stick in your hand?" He said, no, 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 not like that. Not like they that. were talking about the 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 bikini contest or whatever they did oh, last yeah, week, and yeah, then yeah. Taz was like, "Oh, I, I didn't know how to vote. I, you know, I had the stick in my hand. I was trying to decide who win." He goes, "You got your stick in your hand." <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what, what? And how did how did Sable announce Nydia? Okay, so yeah, so Sable announces Nydia, who comes out, and like, so the first thing she said from Loserville, weighing way too much, was like really, really good. <laughs> that was like, pretty that was good. Incredible. But it's like one of those things where she didn't know it would pop that loud, so like, yeah, she has the thing that she thinks is gonna pop the crowd really loud, so she goes, hey, hey wait, 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 and and Nydia, yeah, we need to talk about fashion later, and. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, just, just nothing, just nothing at Bash, all. Yeah, no, that was not good at all. Just not even a little bit. They had the um, hair dryers though. <sighs> oh my true. god, dude! Later on, oh my god! I think in the tag title match, I was like, every spot is oh, 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 oh. I'm like, no one's moving. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that later too. Um, they pan to the crowd in this match to show Zach Gowan, uh, who's yes. hanging out. He's got a front row ticket. He's sitting there like Luther. <laughs> I <laughs> wish. <laughs> Oh my god, fucking Luther. I can't wait to talk about it. <laughs> uh, but what this was weird because like Zach Gowan is not he's got a front row ticket, but he's in like the third row back. <laughs> he had to like pan around some fans just to see yeah, Zach Gowan yeah, barely like, there. If you never watch this show, it's not like Zach Gowan's like a popular wrestler, and like I know who Zach Gowan is, and it took me at least a minute to figure out, oh, that's Zach Gowan behind these <laughs> people that they're showing. I was like, are they showing a sign or something? Yeah, they kept showing the front, they kept showing these people and they're just <laughs> taking pictures of Sable with their digital camera. <laughs> that's what I thought. They were just doing the Sable thing, but hey, they're like, look at these perverts sticking. Yeah, that's exactly asshole. what I thought it was. I like, they love the women at the WWF. <laughs> um, so Tori is. This is during the era of Tori where she's like decided she was going to really honker down and sort of take she's wrestling doing serious. Honkers? <laughs> what? She's going to honker <laughs> down. Her. Oh right. Yeah. True. W- uh. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna wrestle a lot is yes, what James yes, gonna do yes. moves and yeah so uh her one big move here is i'm going to chop you a lot uh really she, hard too she chopped the dog piss out of nydia bro this was tough she was also throwing arm drags like pretty well too they but these two were like working here i mean it was a short match and there was a bunch mm. of shenanigans after but for a solid 45 seconds they were going <laughs> yeah they were doing spots i was like all right let's get it baby yeah um, tori does a leapfrog blows out her knee <laughs> 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 and then nydia goes oh damn bro sorry about your shitty knee and then jamie jamie goes <laughs> nydia get her attack her get her knee get her knee and she's yeah. like okay so her get first her, she stands there for a second and doesn't yeah. do anything yeah, it was, it was actually like this was really a really good angle match. Honestly, it was cool. Yeah. Um, Nydia locks in the like you said the Brock lock. Fucking Brock the lock. Stretch him up, What the hell? <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. It looked good too. And uh, yeah. So, anyways, we get down the stretch a little bit longer. And down the stretch, I mean about twenty to thirty more seconds. And <laughs> <laughs> Nydia schoolboy story with help from Jamie Noble, who gets involved in this one. Oh, you're uh, missing like a vital part You're missing part a big here. spot, dude. The what the hell? Big spot of this match. What are you, is you these two this? start going at it cat fight style and they roll over the referee and the referee Mike Sparks because they wanted to let you know his name was that the guy in the dark match too wasn't there a Sparks guy I don't the think so match? no you talking about Bubba okay. Sparks <laughs> <laughs> they did a steamroller spot Dally you know the cat fight yeah. roll over Mike Sparks yeah referee. they roll over the ref and then he gets up and goes onto the second rope and celebrates <laughs> he does the Austin taunt on the second rope <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> the Austin taunt <laughs> what <laughs> Steve I Austin. said the Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold the likes watching Tori Wilson. <laughs> that was crazy though. Uh, so uh Nydia Schoolboys Tori with the help from Noble. Yes, uh, there you go. And then it just breaks down into just The end of this match is insane. <laughs> straight up chaos. So Taz is pissed off that Jamie Noble helps, so he comes over and hits Noble, and then Nydia's on the ropes and Taz about swings the right hook Dude, at her. He look he she grips him up like grabs him like tries to choke him and he grabs her by the hair and turns around and i swear he almost annihilated her. 
Michael Cole's like, whoa, whoa, you can't do that. <laughs> yeah, he had no idea what was going on. Um, so, <laughs> Tori Wilson, man. So, what the fuck was that? <laughs> she says, that's it. I'm going to get her back. <laughs> she, Tori beats up yeah, Jamie Noble. And then Tori says, yeah, here we go, baby. I'm going to strip your pants off <laughs> i'm going to remove nidia's shorts and that'll show up that's the ultimate disrespect back in the diva era back in the day so this is all happening within the span of 15 seconds <laughs> yes, it was. taz gets up and clobbers jamie noble then taz is, gets choked by nidia he's about to clobber nidia tori takes off nidia's pants and then sable comes out of nowhere and throws water at taz <laughs> it's like a pitcher of water on taz yeah, and, then, and then and then tori's selling the leg and she's <laughs> running after Sable with a bottle of water. Yeah, this is like just chaos. I was somehow I was super into it though. Yes, this was good. It made no sense, but I loved it. Yeah, I loved it. So after that, Vince McMahon arrives in a limousine. Um, yes. And you could tell that they're like really riding the show around the Zach Gowan angle because Vince McMahon arrives in a limousine and they park in a handicapped spot. And Vince and says, I, don't I, don't I knew damn. exactly what this was going to when I saw it. <laughs> yeah, that like it was awesome. Like this whole the whole show was wrapped around. They, this is still very much in that WWE era where they're like kind of all encompassing angles around the show. Right. So yeah, like, I love that. Was that. Really, That's the, the show has a theme. It. Yeah. Yeah. I like that a lot too. I mean, a lot of the older shows we watched too, like the Booker T one where they were chasing him through the mm-hmm. church and stuff like oh that. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they were all around that while all the rest of the show just kind of, you know, I thought it was cool. Um, yeah. But then he walks away after not giving a damn about the handicap spot. And then he walks into the building and they pan over to him walking into the building and he does the Vince McMahon walk for like the entire <laughs> way to the door. <laughs> It felt very much like shut, smack down, shut your mouth. I was like, what the hell's going I on? I believe here? that that's just how he walks in real life. I actually think so, too, because I've never seen him not walk like that. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> so, even, even if you watch like WWE documentaries and, all, and just him walking through the hallway, it's just even if it's subtle, the arms are swinging. Yeah, he's got the big old lats. So it cuts uh, backstage. Yeah. Stephanie McMahon is backstage. She's testing the lie detector test. <laughs> <laughs> she, she was taking liberties, man. She said that they, they asked to say, "Is your name?" She's strapped up to this lie detector. They say, "Is your name Stephanie McMahon?" Yes. Have you ever cheated on your taxes? Ski, whoa, okay, this works well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have cheated on my taxes. Wait, what? <laughs> That's exactly I think that needs to be answered. Ski, whoa, I have good <laughs> enough for me, boys. Looks I think good. that question needs to be answered, Steph. There's more information we need True. to know. True. Oh, God, if they answer that question, the whole damn place would crash and burn. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, after that, we have Team Angle. And Eddie, Guer- Eddie Guerrero and uh, Tajiri Guerrero backstage. <laughs> <laughs> Junior. <laughs> so uh, last week, Eddie used a chair to stop Team Angle, which is Shelton Benjamin and Charlie Haas, from yes. winning the titles by throwing it to Charlie Haas. And then, you know, he did the classic Eddie gimmick with the chair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he hits he hits the ref with a chair and then throws it at Haas and pretends that Haas did it and got up DQ. <laughs> yeah, the referee thought that Charlie Haas would stop <laughs> Shelton Benjamin from pinning and winning the titles. He just hated the referee so much. <laughs> they said, fuck this match, and it hits the ref with a chair. <laughs> fuck refs. <laughs> <laughs> fuck flies. <laughs> 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 just a little uh, but off the record Tony has been battling this fly in his house for at least an hour <laughs> it's gone now is it I, I don't think I believe it trash. he took care of it <laughs> alright so team angle is backstage they're coming to the ring they go okay we're putting these hoods on we want the belts back so they yeah. they said they need the to win because next week angle returns and they can't show up oh, with no yeah. titles was next angle week. hurt or something uh, I guess so, yeah. Or was he signing the TNA? Let me know what now. Cross the line. You know what I'm well, this is fresh off the Lesnar beaten angle at WrestleMania for the title gimmick, so. Oh, uh, were they both? Were, so he was super fucked, because he wasn't even, he shouldn't have even worked that match. Yeah. So, yeah, he took some yeah. time off. Okay. I think it was only a couple months, though. He was like, I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like Kurt Angle. Yeah. yeah. Yes, very much so. Um, I also love these Team Angle singlets. Dude. Oh, yeah. The singlets, the jackets, the whole look. Yeah, I think they look fantastic. The uh, I tried to recreate that on 2K20, where I was like, I was trying to recreate it for Universe Mode, where Sel- sure. Shelton Benjamin actually took over the uh, the gimmick. Team Angle? Oh. Yeah, so it was Team Benjamin, but the yeah. game crashed and 
that didn't work. So. Well, I, I, you th- that might just be a sign that Shelton Benjamin is never meant to be pushed. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Every single damn time. Um, so it cuts back. Uh, Eddie and Tajiri are backstage. Tajiri is now dressed like Chavo Guerrero. He's, he's got Chavo's bandana on. <laughs> so what happened Did so what happened with Chavo here? Was Chavo champion with Eddie and then Tajiri took over when Chavo got Did hurt Did Chavo get hurt too or something? I'm not sure. You know, I don't a, want to state something I don't know, but I, if I had to assume, I would think Chavo. I'm assuming that's injured. why they went with the. Please say Guerrero. Chavo got busted. Is that what you said? <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> oh shit, Ch- Chavo's juicy. No, Last not juicy Chavito. Juice. <laughs> <laughs> that juicy juice. Uh, so, like I said, Tajiri's Chavo Guerrero. Tajiri's actually yes. fucking super hype for this. Like, he loves this angle. Yeah. You can tell Tajiri the way that rules, he's reacting. Dude. He's so good in every role he, says, he played. Tajiri says, you have Latino heat, I have Tajiri heat. <laughs> <laughs> he does the mood thing. Too. <laughs> True. It's and he also stuff. says, we're not walking to the ring, and Tajiri pulls out car keys. Tajiri stole a car. Now, I thought, all right, Tajiri stole, like, Charlie Haas or Shelton Benjamin's car? No. They drove a truck to the ring. He the just Ford stole F-150? Some... <laughs> Adrenaline <laughs> in the <laughs> he, they, he just stole a random person's car. It had nothing to do with anything. <laughs> all right. Hold on. Hold on. So, Tajiri the stole the car. <laughs> What it the a, fuck? It's a fucking Cadillac truck with hydraulics. And on the yeah, back, go, and on where the did back he steal this it, from? It said, on the back of it, it says like West Coast Customs or some shit. <laughs> Fit my ride? Tajiri took this through rim jobs in Saints Row and came in and said, this is my car now. <laughs> this is crazy. I was like, how did he steal this? But this, I will say Jeremy's this. Jeremy Buzzsaw. I wasn't as much. The SmackDown tag titles go crazy right here. I like these a lot. Oh they look my good. god! Yeah, they're good. They're amazing looking. Yeah. Yeah. The. Uh, I mean, this is this is before they got real, real beat up. Like they yeah. still look good here. Like the blue paint look they, good. They, they let still shine to them. Yeah, they go to shit after a couple of years. They just get beat yeah. up until they just say fuck them and we're trading them in for something else. <laughs> 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 they get rough. Um. So we have Team Angle versus Eddie and Tajiri once again for the SmackDown tag team titles. Um. Like we said, Tajiri stole a Cadillac truck from fucking <laughs> West Coast Costumes. From, from Exhibit. <laughs> <laughs> so they get this match started. Tajiri did the rolling pin gimmick, and Taz, my dude, he did the rolling pin, and Taz goes, he's rolling them like an egg roll. And it's oh, like, brother. But, but the, the craziest part about this is he says egg roll, but it's like right as he said the word, he's like, why the fuck did I just say that? <laughs> Do you think somebody said that to him? I, it, you know, I think he might have been fed it because he like hesitated and then he said it and then he like stopped right before the word got out of his yeah. mouth. Yeah, and then yeah. Michael Cole goes egg roll. Yeah, egg roll. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Michael Cole does not let it go. He goes egg roll. <laughs> egg roll. <laughs> oh man, and they pumped in noise like no other. In oh this my match. fucking god! It's hair dryer city. <laughs> <laughs> they have that they have that oh sound effect yeah. that they play after every fucking high spot. Every one yeah. of them. It's just like, whoa, dude, this is way too much because you can see the crowd and they're just like chilling. You know what I mean? Yeah, Zach Gallon's not even Zach Gallon's in the bleachers at this point. <laughs> <laughs> they're owing at these spots and it's like, man, we're in like the heat spot. They're just sitting on them. The yeah, uh there's... team angles heat spot here lasted like ten minutes. It was just them yeah. sitting on him forever. I was like, Whoa. oh my God, just grinding him out the whole time. Yeah. And it wasn't even like interesting stuff. It was like old no. WWE, like heat, heat. Like they sit on you in like a headlock. I was like, oh, this is crazy. <laughs> the last like two minutes of the match are pretty hype though. Oh yeah. I, I think it was mostly because it was a, uh, a an angle match. You know what I mean? It was like a, sure. something for a story. So like, yeah, 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 that's fine. And you're right. At the end of the match, they did kick it up. Um, and it's a good idea not to waste a, I mean, this, even if it's just on a, a SmackDown. I'm sure it goes a, to the pay-per-view, right? Yeah, this is a pay-per-view match. They could get a lot of fucking good stuff out of. So I don't yeah. blame them at all. I was just, as I was watching this, I was like, whoo. <laughs> 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 When's the comeback happening? <laughs> yeah. Um, so we get to the part at the end where they start going crazy. Um, Charlie Haas gets the Haas of pain. Oh, dude, that move, not only does that move fucking rule, but he, like, had it in so crazy here. 
Yeah, he did. It looked really, really good, too. And Tajiri was selling. I was like, oh, okay, here we go. I love the spot, too. Is so fucking... He has him in the house of pain. And Tajiri's, like, in it for a good minute, too. Like, mm-hmm. this is about to be done. I was like, oh, shit, they're really about to have him win here. And then you hear the bell ring. And I'm like, oh, fuck, that's so good. <laughs> Eddie Guerrero rang the bell. And then snuck around with the ring bell as the referee and Charlie Haas are arguing because Charlie Haas thought he won because he heard the bell ring. Uh, and then they, they uh, Eddie goes to hit him with the belt. Haas ducks it and then they have a tug of war with the belt. Eddie lets it go. Charlie Haas flies back holding the belt. Eddie takes a fall. The ref turns around and Charlie Haas is holding the title. Disqualification, bitch. <laughs> I love that Charlie Haas is just dumb as hell. He's so stupid. <laughs> I was like, I'm glad that they kept it as Charlie Haas. It was consistent that this dumbass Charlie Haas keeps fucking it up. Yeah, this was this was a really really good finish. And what at a the great end, spot, dude! At the end, they go, "Who in the world rang the bell?" And they said, "Wait a minute, we got footage." And it looked at it. You see Eddie just walk <laughs> over the ring bell. And go, <laughs> they got me on that though. I wasn't. I was like half paying attention to this match, and I was like, "Oh, it's over." And then it got me. <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker the whole way. Tony I was, was dumb as Charlie Haas, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was like, we done with it. He's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that finish was very creative. Like, this was, uh, Eddie was really coming out with some cool stuff around this, around this time. Honestly. God, it, he ruled, dude. Yeah. It's funny that everybody only does the chair thing where they hit the chair and then throw it to the opponent now. Like, when people copy the oh, Eddie spot. Oh, yeah, nowadays, sure, right. yeah. They don't get the good ones, like ringing the bell. <laughs> that's all that you bring that back next week and i'd be like it's the greatest finish i've seen in my life <laughs> yeah i know really. i mean you're right the, the chair one is the the one you see the most i don't know why they don't do it with other shit there's so many other ways you could do that i yeah. love eddie Guerrero and the chair spot and that frog spot he did <laughs> he's my favorite <laughs> my so, favorite wrestler uh, is eddie <laughs> Josh Matthews interviews Zach Gowan in the crowd while they're setting up the lot. As you cast. do with people who buy tickets, by the way. Just <laughs> yes. interview them. Josh Matthews with his fucking frosted tips. Yeah, <laughs> this guy was uh, a little, little, he looked a little bit like Michael Cole at one point. They both looked. He insane. definitely did. Yeah. Also, during this interview, fucking Stone Cold setting up a table in the ring. <laughs> I wrote that down. <laughs> did you? <laughs> I said. Here's what I wrote down exactly. I said, one of the guys sitting on the ladder to the test is wearing a stone gold shirt. He is also <laughs> bald, and he also has a good <laughs> <laughs> Is that Red Hot on Texas? <laughs> stone cold said, I'm a lie detector. What? <laughs> a tattleteller. What? <laughs> a non-truther. <laughs> Dude, this shabby crack it up. I was like, how, how in the world out of, this is a rib, the how one guy, all the shirts and all the guys in the world, <laughs> you get the bald headed good. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, that's just cracking up. And it was, I'm right so glad before. we both caught that. Yeah. Yes, dude. That was, cr- I literally had to pause it cause I was just dying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. So if a if Mr. America fails his lie detector test, Zach Gowan will never be a WWE wrestler. <laughs> if Mr. America lies, Zach Gowan, eighteen year old one legged Zach Gowan, the, the by the way, the correct one legged wrestler. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> 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 Not the 40 year old one legged wrestler that John Laurinaitis tried to hire. John Laurinaitis probably got the Stone Cold guy. He's like, get Stone Cold. It's not the line of that. He's like, Stone Cold. Oh, well, sorry about that. <laughs> You're so cool with this. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you do a stunner, kid? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah, so, so this if, uh, lie detector that, test segment yes. is goaded. This is an all timer, and this and it, this is why we watch this episode. Tony Tony brought this up to me, and I said yes. We I've, yes. I haven't seen this segment in no, so you long. Go, is this three hours? Okay, we go. <laughs> That's it. also true. Yes, Tony was on a three week ban for picking three hour shows, so he just got to Good pick. Good thing this we week. had no retro for three weeks. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah true. that's true. <laughs> so this segment he, right here the lie detector test segment is good because vince mcmahon is one of the best characters of all time of all he, time ever in anything he ever. had no problem because this segment is set up to make him look like a fucking asshole <laughs> and it works yeah yeah well he did a lot of shit to gowan too you know so he deserved this one that's oh no it was he had it coming and like 
this is amazing. Yeah, he was definitely a guy that was all in on the give and take. Like if yeah. he if he gave something to you, he'd take it back two times as hard. He just sure. did not care. It didn't matter. It really didn't matter if he looked bad. You know what I mean? He still runs the fucking company. Yeah. Who cares? I mean, um, how over did this fucking miss like this Mr. America gimmick got over because Vince sucks so much. This was <laughs> everyone all, it everyone was just no, no it was none all of it him. was Mr. America. None no. Of it. Yeah. No, not at all. It was all we hate Vince, so we love Mr. America. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, so Vincent Man comes out to administer the lie detector test. Of course, he makes a leg joke about Zach Gal. <laughs> <laughs> After tonight, you nor Mr. America won't have a leg to stand on. <laughs> he was real happy about it too. Had a big smile on his face. He said, "Yeah, I went there." <laughs> he loved it. <laughs> From Loserville. <laughs> I think Zach Gal and I should talk about fashion. <laughs> The crowd just goes. <laughs> <laughs> so Vince says he makes all his corporate employees take the same <laughs> lie detector test because if there's one thing he can't stand, it is a liar. That's true. He should also make his wrestlers maybe take that too. <laughs> yeah. They, <laughs> they, <laughs> they have talk so, at all. In a lie detector test, you have to set a baseline, right? You yes. have to you have to set like. This is how you know they're telling the truth. This is how you know they're right. telling a lie. So they'll start right. off asking questions like, what's your name? Where are you from? This and that. Vincent Mann has never seen a lie detector test before. <laughs> so he progressively gets pissed off at them asking questions. <laughs> he says, why the fuck aren't you asking the question? <laughs> Ask him already. <laughs> and also, I've never seen a lie detector test go, ding. And <laughs> it doesn't work like that. The fucking it price is right. Sounds like that. <laughs> <laughs> no whammies. Also, no whammies. I enjoyed the <laughs> the fucking super overhead camera that definitely wasn't pre recorded footage. They oh used. right, with the little needle going back <laughs> and forth. Needle, yeah. yeah, it was a drone. It was a drone shot. That's, that's yeah. all. Two thousand three drone shot. Vanguard one was back then. <laughs> yeah, oh, shit. That was Vanguard zero. They're going crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. America also came out to a USA chant. There was only Americans in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. America, you can chant USA all you want. <laughs> I love it. Uh, so they get to finally get to the question. They ask Mr. America, "Are you Hulk Hogan?" And he's like, uh, 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 "I need a drink of water." I and need, he I takes need. a drink of water. <laughs> and Vince McMahon goes, you can drink as much water as you want. That's not a truth serum. That's just water. <laughs> that is simply water. <laughs> and then Vince is pissed. He's not happy with all. He's asking, you know, are you sitting in a wrestling ring in Pensacola, Florida? Are you currently employed on SmackDown? He says, you better ask this. Fu I'll, you know what? I'll ask it. <laughs> Mr. America, are you Hulk Hogan? And he waits and he waits. No. <laughs> ding. <laughs> and ding. He is, ding. It is not Hulk Hogan. And Vince is losing it. What? What? What's this mean? <laughs> Mr. America, are you Hulk Hogan? Uh, it's, uh, it means he's telling the truth. The hell he's telling the truth. <laughs> this man turned around and he said, the hell you say? <laughs> <laughs> he asks this again. He says, are you Hulk Hogan? No. <laughs> ding. <laughs> ding. Ask the question properly, damn it. I know that SOB is lying. I loved when he called SOB. <laughs> he wants his <laughs> yeah, son that was good that SOB. <laughs> and he does it again. No, ding. Damn it. It's Hogan, Hogan, Hogan. <laughs> and then <laughs> he says, it's Hogan, Hogan, and Hogan. Mr. America replies, no, 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 no. And it goes, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> Vince is losing it. All go fucking Mr. America starts celebrating. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. And yeah. it only gets better from there. Yeah, it actually gets probably a hundred times better after this part. <laughs> so Vince McMahon says, if, well, if you can pass this test, I can pass this test. And these people out here yeah. can pass this test. So set me up with a lie to take the test right now. Oh, no. <laughs> he rules. says these damn lie detector tests are not admissible in court for a very good reason. <laughs> he added that in. That was a shoot. <laughs> <laughs> he had to get a shot in there. So Vince, you know, of course, they ask him a bunch of questions right away. Like, what's your name? You know, is this your job? Are you job? Vince McMahon? Yeah. Yeah. So a hug, he goes, no. <laughs> Man, you gotta, you gotta well, let me ask you something, yeah. brother. <laughs> This is on you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mr. Rackus said, well, let me ask you something, brother. Are you the biggest asshole on God Green Earth? 
And, Vince and then you get, the, says, you get the hair dryer too. <laughs> <laughs> and Vince says, no. <laughs> he says, I'm an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best part. <laughs> yeah, his little reaction to it where he's like, what? I am? Are you a sick, perverted, power hungry freak? <laughs> No. <laughs> Vince says, I don't know what's going on here, but what's wrong with this test? Because I'm a well-respected businessman the world over. <laughs> That's not even a question. He's just saying things, and it's it's going off the charts. It's <laughs> not even a question. <laughs> He says, what I do in this business, I do it for everyone all over the world. I do it for most of you all over the world. Some of you? <laughs> All right, I only do it for me and me only. Ding. <laughs> I don't remember why. Oh, he, he also he said, "I am no pervert." <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I'm not a pervert. Yeah. He goes, "Yeah, I, all right, I do this for myself." Damn it! And he goes, "And I am no pervert." <laughs> <laughs> Don't and then Mr. America says, "Don't you spend most of your leisure spending time looking at Tori Wilson's Playboy brother?" That's just a, that's just a weird. <laughs> what? That was a shoot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Vince says, "No, I don't." Brand. All right, it was a long time ago. Brand. <laughs> it was last month. Brand. It was earlier this morning. Brand. It was in the car in the limo on the way over here. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking weird. Why did they throw that in there? None of these are questions. <laughs> <laughs> no. And then they throw in, he says, at least I don't fantasize about May Young's, the May Young's of the world. <laughs> 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 oh, and then, shit. Vince <laughs> says, I hate you, Hogan. Bing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little cherry on the top. To like, <laughs> that's the way to and end the thing. Get the shit off of me. <laughs> Uh, and then he says, uh, oh, Mr. America said, Mr. America is, uh, is telling the truth, but you're nothing but a liar. And Vince goes to punch him. Mr. America catches it and punches him instead. <laughs> He's, and then he starts, like, overly celebrating, <laughs> doing the biggest fucking ear wave you've ever seen. <laughs> Just fired the fuck up. What a fucking segment. Yeah, who is this dude? Oh my I don't know, god! Man. It could be anybody. It could be. Wow. Might be Randy Orton. <laughs> huh. Oh so shit! The big angle is Ho or uh, Mr. America and Zach Gallon. And uh, after the segment, he just goes and just really quickly high fives him and leaves. See you, bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> stay. Please stay in the crowd. Oh sheesh! Uh, so Vince goes backstage after this. He goes to Stephanie's office, and well, he's pissed off. I mean, he's, oh, he's really, really pissed. Fired off. up. Yes. Yeah, and uh, he says maybe I'm pretty sure he wasn't supposed to say this, and he just did. But he said he walked in, and he was just like, "Ah, that test. You were supposed to check that." And she goes, "Yeah, yeah." He's like. Shut up. I didn't even say anything yet. <laughs> this was awesome. Yo, shut up anyway. <laughs> Vince was wondering, Stephanie wants to check this out. Of course, they started talking about taxes and she did not check this out. Uh, yes. So then Stephanie in, ends up with the quip. So what? Do you want me to take a lie detector test about this? <laughs> he I also, thought he was going to hit her with the shut up, bitch. <laughs> he also, he said, you were responsible for hiring those detectives and making sure the equipment worked properly. And Stephanie replied, ding. <laughs> <laughs> she was goaded at this point, bro. She was That's crazy. pretty good. True. Um, so after that, we go to back to a wrestling match. We have Sean O'Hare versus Chris Benoit. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Also, uh, Ben said things are going to change for the better next week. Forever yes. SmackDown will change, as we talked about earlier. Where yeah, Kurt Angle always shake things up a bit. So yes, yeah, Sean O'Hare and Roddy Piper come out, and the first thing I immediately thought of was, "Wow, this is." Jake Roberts and Lance Archer. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It would go out with oh, less wow. perverted jokes, maybe. That's well, I mean, Roddy Piper was right. Oh, well, I mean, Sean O'Hare did cut the titty promo of Darby. Yeah, you're right. But he didn't say you busted know? nuts, so uh, didn't get no, all the way. He, he also not getting wet. Yeah, Sean O'Hare, uh, so his gimmick is that <laughs> he likes karate and Roddy Piper. And, <laughs> well, he, to and be fair, he, Sean O'Hare definitely had a big pervert trench coat that he probably flashed people with. <laughs> I think that's probably where the gimmick was going to go. <laughs> and, and, and he's from Parts Unknown as well. Parts, we do. Dude, why the fuck was he from Parts Unknown? Was he just trying to like not dox himself? <laughs> what the fuck was that? I really don't know. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't one of the, one of, wasn't one of the vignettes about capitalism or something. 
Probably, yeah. Dude, this dude he was, was all just in a white place. room, right? So maybe he's like purgatory or something. He's from Super Hell? Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, he's from there. the liberal left, you piece of <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <Damn> <laughs> uh, so this match was pretty quick and to the point. Um, Benoit ends up getting Piper in the cry in the cross face. Um, yes. Sean O'Hare then kicks oh my God. the fuck out of Benoit. Dude, <laughs> dude, kicks him shoot way, and it was tough. Dude, O'Hare hits him with a PK to the back of his head and then rolls him up and holds the tights. He didn't even need to hold the tights. Benoit was fucked here. <laughs> dude, that was tough, dude. That was uh, quite the finish here. I was actually surprised yeah. that a uh, back PK ended up getting the victory for him. He should have kept that as a finish. But I mean, to be fair, I I did like the the fucking Widowmaker and the Shantan Bomb. Ooh, yeah, yeah, that always looked really good. Actually, yeah. always. He did one on a steel steps one time in WCW that looked dirty. Oh my god! Oh, yes, shit. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, and he hit it clean too. That dude was really dude, really talented. Well, I like. I, was it? Do you think it's just because he couldn't cut a promo or something? Because like I feel like that dude had fucking money written. He all did cut over a promo. Him. He was doing those vignettes, and I thought they yeah, were pretty good. From what I understand, it was like really <laughs> fucking tough to get like good footage yeah. of his oh, promos. Really? Yeah, they had to like really work for those promos to come off ah, anything shit. well. Yeah, he just couldn't work in a twenty by twenty ring, brother. Yeah, I guess not. Power plant yeah. boys. Power plant. Just <laughs> these twenty by twenty <laughs> rings just can't work. Him. And then Chuck Palumbo's in the main event. What the fuck? Yeah, this was that was actually I crazy. Um, yeah. So after that, we get into Rey Mysterio cutting an interview in maybe the <laughs> craziest attire that he could put together. Please describe <laughs> this to the viewers. Okay, Listeners, so excuse me. Rey Mysterio was standing backstage. So last week, Rey Mysterio beat Matt Hardy's posse of guys, which included Shannon Moore and Crash Holly. Yes. During this match, Rey Mysterio pulled his groin. I also forgot that Crash Holly was with Matt Hardy. Yes, he I was, don't remember. Uh, Crash was an MFer. Yeah, I feel, didn't he have an. I know Shannon Moore was an MFer. I thought I thought Crash was something else. I gotta look it up. But yeah, yeah. So Rey Mysterio beats both those guys, but he pulled his groin. All right, Matt Hardy his beat Rey Mysterio at WrestleMania yep. this year. Also, I believe that was the uh, yes, yes, at the WrestleMania. He won 19. the cruiserweight title. Yeah. So Rey Mysterio obviously can't do anything, so he's in regular clothes. And by regular clothes, I mean Rey Mysterio clothes, because I don't really know what to call this. This guy was in a <laughs> daredevil mask, and it was yes. weird because it's not the classic Rey Mysterio where it covers uh, his cheeks. It was cut no. off at the lip. At the eyes, so, yeah. Yeah, so you right, can yeah, see yeah. his <laughs> entire bottom of his face. It was really crazy looking. It was He's got weird the two looking. little devil horns like he was back in WCW. I I feel like he wore something like that at Mania, too. I mean, the drip. Yeah, I think he did. I think he did. The drip yeah. was immaculate. So it not, was. He had the yes. Daredevil mask. Then you look down. You continue to just you scroll down Rey Mysterio. It's incredible. <laughs> Daredevil mask. He's got at least four chains on. He's got <laughs> San Diego Chargers jersey oversized. Yes. This That's a very big part of this because this is 2003. Oversized. San Diego Chargers jersey. You keep scrolling down. He's got the biggest boot cut jeans acid wash <laughs> that you could possibly find. Keep scrolling down. He's got Tim's on. This is my guy right here, <laughs> he was, dude. And this was wow. just for a, a backstage. This He wore all of this just to get kicked in the nuts by Matt Hardy. Which I think goes to show you, that's just what he wears. Like, he just threw a mask, mask on up. for it, too. Like yeah, The mask was the last part yeah. he had. Yeah, he just wore that around the show. Yeah, so Ray's backstage. He said, "I, you know, I want to get the the cruiserweight championship back. I got to do this for my family, for my people." And then Matt Hardy comes and goes, nye, 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 nye. "You ain't gonna my do family. shit for my family, my, for your people, my family, my people." Blah blah blah. <laughs> he said, "I want it, Manny. I'm gonna whoop your ass again. I'm gonna show you the meaning of attitude." He was definitely <laughs> talking like Damascus or whatever he calls it. <laughs> yeah, he was. He was I thought the yeah. same thing. Yeah, he yeah. was gimmicked out of his mind here. Um. And then Matt Hardy <laughs> kicked him squaw in the nuts. <laughs> right in the balls, and the camera goes down to it. and pa Like, the cameraman goes down to the floor and pans up at Matt Hardy for some reason. Like, he's really <laughs> just staying in the place he was. Because the drip was too immaculate. It went down to Rey Mysterio. It showed the Timbs. It said, scroll back up. <laughs> too much oh, drip. By, by the way, Crash Holly, uh, Shannon Moore was an MF for the Mattitude follower, and Crash Holly was a moron. Was, oh, that's he was nice. Shannon Moore's guy. <laughs> he was yes, follower of Shannon Moore. <laughs> yes, yes. Cool. like a human centipede of followers. I get it. <laughs> I hope not. No. 
Matt Hardy looked huge by Rey Mysterio. He too. looked gigantic here, but they also did the Andre shot when he kicked him in the ball. So, oh, uh, but help. <laughs> good, good, good. Um, so after that, they play a couple of things here. Kurt Angle is returning next week on SmackDown. Woo! Yeah, he's probably all drugged up. Yes, absolutely. Which is he's about to go crazy. This is a good, good time for SmackDown. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimo Dragon is coming to SmackDown. They played a little vignette. I was actually surprised that they even. I don't remember them playing vignettes. I thought he just showed up. I, I think I vaguely, them, yeah. yeah, I vaguely remember the vignettes. I feel like they did it because they. That's the same way they debuted Ray, like with weekly vignettes. So they probably were like, okay, masked guy. Uh, we'll do these weird, mysterious kind of uh, vignettes for him, and it'll work out just as well as Ray did. Yeah, because the Ray ones worked really well. And the I Ray ones were sick, too. I remember hyped. them vividly, yeah. Yeah, and then they did the same thing for Ultimo Dragon, and then... And yeah. then uh, he fell on the stage, and Vince gave up. They wow. should have got Ultimo Dragon when he wasn't, like, earlier Which in his career. Which is real yeah. insane to think of, like, how much of a fucking legend Ultimo Dragon is, and he how wrestles. much of... how much Yeah, and how much of a, just, like, a nothing he did here. And it was, it was like a... Well, yeah, I mean, when he tripped up, I think they that was it, pretty much. But they tried yeah. a lot of things with him, and he messed up. And it was like, it was just like random mess ups, like it was just yeah, right. It was just a, a incident, accident after accident, just like unfortunate events that led to mm -hmm. it. Yeah, he just never got the ball rolling. It sucks. Yeah, because I think he probably could have been. I mean, a lot for that cruiserweight division, it would have been really good too. To have sure. Him oh hell yeah, working around that, that would have been good. He for probably them, did but. okay with merge too. Yeah, I mean, he had a cool look. I mean, they, they yeah. really were going to really etch into the mask for him because they, yeah. in the vignette, they showed like nine different masks that he wore. I was like, oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, dude, Ultimate like, yeah. Dragon was a dude back in the day in WCW. Yeah. I love that guy. And that's what I was meaning. The same, like, that's the same kind of vignettes they were running for Ray when Ray came in. So mm -hmm. I figured, like, they're, all right, light, let's try it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah, they didn't really turn out too great. No. Well, moving on, uh, we have Basham Brothers versus Rikishi and Spanky. Which is... Quite the team. It is also the Basham Brothers' debut here on SmackDown and debut on WWE TV at all. Um, they coming just out debuted in them, huh? Super leather pants. Yeah, they just showed up. Yeah, that was <laughs> weird. I said I wrote down this is peak universe mode bullshit. Yeah, just straight out of OVW. Just send them Basham up. Basham Brothers versus Rikishi and Spanky. Huh? Rik Rikishi is also wearing a WWE We the People shirt. <laughs> 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 Which is Rikishi, also a okay. Look. So Spanky came out first, and Taz goes, "Whoa, Rikishi lost weight." And then <laughs> Rik Rikishi that comes was out. Michael, really good. I cracked up. Rikishi that. comes out. Michael Cole goes, "No, he didn't." <laughs> I guess yeah, they just needed good. a partner for. They just needed two guys to lose to the Bashams, and this is the, all they could get. Yeah, I mean, this is. I mean, this was the ending was really cool. I thought. I thought. I like the finish. Good. Um, the rest of it was whatever. Rikishi did his ass cheeks move, and Spanky double stink face lost. The double <laughs> yeah. stink face was sweet. Yeah, I, I mean, like the spot where it always was a mark for that spot where Rikishi would turn around. And yeah, see the guys. he would hear them smash the ground. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I always love the cell when they'd go from. No. Standing up to sitting down. Yeah, you you just slowly <laughs> peel out from the corner and then plop and you go. <laughs> Let's raise that thong up. Let's go. Slap yeah. the ass cheeks. Yeah, he didn't yeah, even really. give him the goody one. He didn't even, he didn't even give him the full ass cheeks. He didn't raise that no. up for nothing. He just gave him the cheeks. But he did yeah. smash that ass into me. Said <laughs> he said, "Welcome, welcome to <laughs> WWE, bitches." That's, that's what, Taz, I'm pretty sure Taz or Michael Cole comment says, "Welcome to the big leagues, kid." <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. He did. Yeah, Rikishi with his ass cheeks. There you go. Sheesh. Uh, so at the end of the match, Bash and Bros roll up Spanky. They actually have a pretty good little tag team move here. So they like schoolboy Spanky, and one of them was sitting on the apron still holding the tag rope and he literally just pushed his foot out against the other Basham bros so like yeah. Spanky couldn't push up like and double stack up like stacked them on it yeah yeah dude that was actually a really good finish I, I did thought. like that and that I don't cool. think they ever did it again after that there was actually <laughs> it was enough. funny because not only did we watch this match where they did this but on AEW later uh, FTR did a similar thing but not oh with yeah with the hold it like they like held it hands. was kind of yeah yeah, yeah I, I they probably watched really the same cool. episode <laughs> they took big, big deadlock guys, deadlockites. <laughs> so after the Bash and Bros make their debut, Vince McMahon's limo is being towed because guess what? You're in a handicap zone. My man tried to tell you earlier. <laughs> he, he comes out and says, 
the hell's the meaning of this? <laughs> <laughs> What what driver mean, goes, you're bro? in the handicap zone. Yeah, I told you he, an hour ago that you were in the handicap zone. <laughs> he said, so you Vince, tell that man to put my limo down. And the, his driver said, the car's impounded. <laughs> the fuck? There's a guy in, the, the guy is towing it, and Vince gets in the limo anyways <laughs> as he's getting towed. He, tell, he says, tell the tower to take me to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he just, before the guy, he doesn't even do it. The guy just, assume, Vince just assumes he's going to do it. <laughs> and he leaves. But before he leaves, there's a little tap on his windshield, a little tap at tap. And yeah. Zach Gowan's tapping on his windshield. And he's he got says, that cane back, the weapon. He's got a weapon. Did. He's got a weapon. You shut up a bit. <laughs> and, he's, and, and Zach Gowan taps on the windshield. He goes, you know, it's illegal to get in the handy girls. <laughs> <laughs> and Vince loses. He says, stop this car. I'm going to kick his little ass. I'm going to kick his little ass. Stop this car right now. There's yeah. nothing Vince could do ever. He just had to sit there and let the limo go yeah, off. He couldn't jump out. out. <laughs> he had no, nope. He had to say, ah, why? No one even told the, the tower to go or where to go. <laughs> yeah. or well, the guy, the, he probably didn't know Vince was in there. He probably just took it back to the, the impound. Took the car. Stop, just stop the car. What, so what are you going to stop what? Help. Help me. <laughs> Security. I'm being <laughs> Alex Marvez, oh, we got some issues backstage. <laughs> oh. My boss is being abducted. <laughs> it's because earlier Vince is like, oh, don't worry, this lie detector test will be over in a second, even though he books it in this halfway yeah, through the, the show. Yeah, halfway through the show. Sheesh. <laughs> uh, so after that, we get the main event of the evening, which is ah, Gabagoo, you motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Undertaker and Brock Lesnar versus FBI. Wow, that's a full sentence. Every time I watch Brock's like entrance from his original run, it makes me very upset because I feel like he never figured out how to do that hop when he came back. It just never was the same. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Like the side to side, like it just doesn't. It's I don't know what happened. He just lost that 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 stride. Yeah, but he looked good here. He and looked ta- and fucking Taz crazy was, here. Taz gave it the biggest whoop. <laughs> Here comes the pain. I love that line so much. I don't know why they didn't just use that again when he came back. Like, come on. Michael I think Cole they did it, it once. I think they did it once when he came back. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, they didn't drop it. I think without Taz, that was Taz's thing. He'll sue. Fair enough. Yeah, I'll take that. Um, so Undertaker comes out on the motorcycle. It's that custom. It looks like a SummerSlam motorcycle. It looked Beyond great. Them. That was a fucking sweet motorcycle. Yeah. Lesnar even took a second. He's like, oh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> He's like, oh, it's funny. <laughs> yeah. um, so FBI. <laughs> FBI makes their entrance. You know, they're doing Italian things. They are dripping. <laughs> doing Italian things. <laughs> Eating pizza. <laughs> yeah, oh, just just slander of guys, Italian honestly, the whole, Nunzio's whole entrance is him going, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, That's what I'm saying. They come out. Dude, Palumbo's not even doing anything. He's just chilling. And then all of a sudden, he brings up a cigar. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> True. Oh shit, he crack it up. You got fucking Guido in his big ass jacket. You got Dude, Trump gigantic Lumbo. jacket. Trump Lumbo is just he brings out the cigar, he starts doing something with his hands. Like, yeah. Johnny Johnny Stamboli's just got this look on his face forever, it's just glued to his face <sighs> like it's the hat, man. Get still. And yeah. if you didn't think this match could get any better. <laughs> I was stunned at this. Because I was what already hyped fuck? up for this fucking match. All right. So, Nuncio. So oh, yeah, is, you go on. Go no, on. no, I just want to say something really quick. They do this. It, this around this era, I swear to God, everything turned into exactly this. If someone couldn't wrestle <laughs> it was always or if they this. needed somebody. So, go ahead. Yes. Go. So, Nunzio, uh gets on the mic and he says, this isn't going to. Uh, I'm not going to be in this match. Because of what happened last week. And they recap uh, what happened last Thursday. I guess there was a big schmoz uh, during the show. And Nunzio jumped on Taker's back. And Taker goes towards the ropes. <laughs> and just fucking... I couldn't believe this. He dumps him over the top rope. But it's not safely. He dumps him. And Nunzio lands near the barricade. <laughs> oh, this was a shoot for sure. Taker's like, he fuck this guy. Get off my this back. fucking guy. They play in Nunzio. slow motion too, dude. Yeah. All I could think the whole time was him going through the air going... so he says i found a suitable replacement i'm like oh no oh yes well, <laughs> oh, shit, oh my let's god go. the 
FBI and the Big Show with the fucking handlebar mustache. <laughs> oh man, he's looking so tan and hey. hairy. <laughs> this is Why is he diary. so tan and hairy? Dude, turns out Big Show also Italian. Hey. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> He fit right in, actually. <laughs> he looked, he did. He, look, he, he looked, looked more like, tan than any of them. Yeah. He was, yeah, oh. dude, he fit right in. So this it's the FBI fun. and the big show. Nah, he's okay. in the FBI. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, it's <laughs> the true. Show's the FBI. Tan and FBI. <laughs> it's the, <laughs> it's the full big Italians, problem. of course. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, that's yes. it. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> And that's hey, SmackDown. What do you guys think? About it. <laughs> Comment. <laughs> forget about it. Hey. <laughs> Let's get a slice. Hey. You motherfucker. Yeah, I want the. Hey. <laughs> that's the Kabagoo. That's the yeah, time in the big show. Hey, I'm oh, playing Destiny here. Hey. hey, I'm the big show here. Kabagoo, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> Just trying to eat an ice cream. Hey. <laughs> So speaking of Italian things, Taz is called yes. Johnny Stamboli, Johnny Stromboli. Johnny Stromboli. <laughs> I forgot. He's the called, entire time I, he said I Stromboli. I, miss, I thought I misheard it one time, but he definitely called him the entire man. <laughs> yeah, he was calling Stromboli the entire time. He's like, what, what's his ridiculous. name called? Oh, Stromboli. Stromboli? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking. The match starts and Brock and Taker are just whooping everyone's ass. And then uh, Big Show eventually gets tagged in and he demands. Brock to be in this match, and then he fucking annihilates Brock with a clothesline. It was insane looking. Dude, Lesnar was bumping like crazy for these dudes. Yeah. That was crazy, man. Brock also picked Big Show up for the F5 one point. I'm like, dude, this is a scary motherfucker, <laughs> man. Oh, yeah, he picked like, him up easy, too. Because, you know, you've seen, like, Cena, like, you've seen people pick up, like, Big Show, and, like, it's a struggle. Brock just lifts this dude up and yeah. looked like he could have lifted another guy. He looked, like he could have lifted up the entire team. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I think so, too, with ease. I think he could have jumped around with him if he wanted to. This guy's a freak. It was fucking crazy. Um, so, uh, also, Big Show uh, hit uh, one of them with a punch during this match. He hit Brock with a punch. I don't know why. Uh, why didn't it knock him out, James? Well, I mean, well, if you think about it for a minute, did he do the thing where he goes, Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I have to check charge it up. Yeah, I don't think he did, but I, I mean, I just figured he has all that power in his hand. He was pretty fired up the whole match. I, I just don't know why they didn't. Why didn't end it? Well, I was thinking to myself as I was watching this match, man, what if uh -huh. Big Show and Sheamus had a match? What is the best move? Is it the bro kick? Oh, are or you the KO you were point? wondering if they, <laughs> <laughs> what is more powerful, the bro kick or the KO? That's a it good could question. be either of those moves. We should do a poll on the show. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, also, but, uh, Undertaker used a dragon sleeper here. I forgot that he used this for a bit. The Taker care of he business. Yeah, that's is that what he called it? Sucks. Yeah, they called it on a commentary too. I do not remember doing Dragon yeah. Sleeper at all. And yes. then Nunzio comes in and hits Taker in the back with a chair, and then Taker <laughs> goozles him and jumps him. He does that look when he gets into the chair. He's like, "Oh hell no!" <laughs> yeah, like the Rikishi look. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right and then he, he, he should have put his ass, in, put his ass in Nunzio's face. <laughs> <laughs> Taker pulled up his tights. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, uh, Palumbo hit a huge super kick on Taker. Brock got the tag, F5 to Palumbo, then F5 to Stramboli. <laughs> Big Show choke slams Brock. I don't know if you guys noticed, though. He picks Brock up for the choke slam, and then it cuts to a completely different angle. It's a definitely different choke slam. He yeah. hits him with it, pins him, and then it, it cuts to a different pin. Yeah, they, they did this a few times tonight. Because they taped the it, they just, happened? If, if the spot blew, they just did it again and just... I can't and, imagine how they fucked up the choke slam though. I don't know either, but Big Show, this, this is Big Show when he was like, I don't... You see, don't when Taker know. tried to do it to Nunzio, they kind of fucked it up too. Yeah, it's weird. So Palumbo, yeah, but the, uh, Palumbo bumped off the F5 like the Rock does the stunner. <laughs> he, he, almost <laughs> rolled, he almost rolled up the ramp. <laughs> that was actually really crazy. He hit the yeah. ground and did a <laughs> <laughs> he was just That's, going. Yeah, that was crazy. But yeah, so Big Show uh, picks up the win and celebrates with the FBI there in the Ramco net. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got a good one. Big Show does the Big Show does the throat slit taunt for no reason. <laughs> hey, <laughs> <laughs> and that's how SmackDown ends. Show. There you go. 
Yep. SmackDown, what was that? May 23rd? May 29th. May 29th. 29th. 2003 SmackDown. What a show. Yeah, it was actually pretty fun. I mean, it there were some really down fun. points, but uh, yeah, it was pretty fun. 